Hello, 8th graders. I'm Yelitsa Shiparovic and I will be your teacher today. Today's lesson is about environmental problems. I hope that by the end of this lesson you will be able to understand a short text and to identify different environmental problems. The grammar part of the lesson will be about present simple passive voice. So, you will also be able to write some sentences about different environmental problems using both active and passive voice. For this lesson, you will need your notebook and a pencil. Maybe you will need a rubber too. And you will also need a good internet connection. I would like to remind you that you can pause the video anytime you need to do the activities. Let's start with a short vocabulary activity. In your notebooks, write the words connected with environmental problems you already know. You may pause the lesson and think. How many words can you think of in, let's say, two minutes? Here are some pictures of various environmental problems. Have you mentioned any of them? You saw these problems on the previous slide. You can copy the words into your notebooks if you like. They are air pollution, deforestation, ice cap smelting, land pollution, and greenhouse gases. Now, let's see if you can guess the meaning of some words about our environment. Pause the lesson and copy this link into your browser or use the QR code to do the vocabulary exercise. You will need these words for the next task. Here are the answers. Global warming, a gradual increase in the Earth's temperature. Global nosatopienia. Environment, the air, water, and land in or on which people, animals, and plants live. Okolish. Extremely, very. Krajnie ili veoma mnogo. Atmosphere, the mixture of gases around the earth. To increase, to become or make something larger and greater. Povechati. Cautious, careful. Pajiv. To rise, to move upwards. Porasti. Consequence. A result of a particular action or situation. Posledica. Let's go on with the next task. Listen carefully to a text about the good and bad sides of the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is the warming of the Earth's surface and the air above. It is caused by gases in the air that trap energy from the sun. These gases are called greenhouse gases. The greenhouse effect is extremely important for life on Earth, as it gives us the heat we need. Without it, the temperature on Earth would be so low that people could not survive. However, when fossil fuels like oil or coal 
are burnt by cars or factories, much more heat than we actually need is trapped in the atmosphere. Moreover, many trees are cut down for building houses or making furniture. Numerous forests are burnt down to create areas for farms. As a result of these various human activities, a large amount of carbon dioxide, CO2, is released into the atmosphere. Scientists believe that this has led to global warming as global temperatures cannot be controlled without forests. The temperature of the Earth's surface is slowly increasing. If we are not cautious, it will lead to the sea level rise as well as extreme weather conditions and many other disastrous consequences. Here is a comprehension task about the text you have just heard. I will read the sentences. Please write down in your notebooks if the sentences are true, false or if it doesn't say. 1. The greenhouse effect happens under the Earth's surface. 2. Without the greenhouse effect, the average temperature on Earth would be minus 30 degrees Celsius. 3. Coal is a fossil fuel. 4. Trees are burnt down for building houses. 5. If they are cautious, people can prevent many environmental problems in the future. Here are the correct answers. You can now check your answers and see your scores. Number one is false. Number two, it doesn't say. Number three is true. Number four is false and number five is true. Here is the text I read a few moments ago. You can pause the lesson and read it for yourselves. This is the passive voice. Have you ever heard of the passive voice? Passive voice is a type of a sentence in which an action through verb or an object of a sentence is emphasized rather than its subject. Dakle, vrijeme je da nakratko koristimo hrvatski jezik. Kako bih vam što bolje približila pasiv? Rečenice koje imaju objekt mogu se izreći na dva načina, u aktivnom i u pasivnom stanju, kako u hrvatskom, tako i u engleskom jeziku. U hrvatskom jeziku se pasivno stanje rijeđe izražava pasivom nego u engleskom jeziku. Obično takve rečenice prevodimo aktivnim rečenicama, pogotovo ako znamo tko je vršitelj radnje. U aktivnim rečenicama naglasak je na subjektu, to jest važno je tko ili što vrši radnju, dok je u, pasi, u pasivu naglasak na radnji, odnosno na rezultatu radnje. Dakle, u aktivnim rečenicama subjekt vrši radnju. U pasivnim rečenicama objekt postaje subjekt, a vršitelj radnje postaje agent. Naprimjer, Mama kuha ručak je aktivna rečenica. Ručak je skuhan. Ta ista rečenica je sada u pasivu. Ručak je sada subjekt, a skuhan je glagolski pridjev trpni. 
We can also use the active voice to say these sentences. In this case, subject is the most important thing. Ovako izgledaju formule za aktivne i pasivne rečenice u engleskom jeziku. Dakle, u aktivnoj rečenici subjekt nam je cause and factories. Glagol burn je u present simple, a objekt je fossil fuels. Dakle, automobili i tvornice izgaraju fosilna goriva. Subject, verb, object. U pasivu se ta situacija mijenja. Fossil fuels, koji su ovdje bili objekt u aktivnoj rečenici, postaju subjekt. Are je glagol biti u present simple i glavni glagol je burnt, odnosno past participle glagola burn. Cause and factories, koji su u aktivnoj rečenici bili subjekt, sada postaju agent. Jer je izuzetno važno ponekad reći ipak ko je napravio tu radnju. Dakle, fossil fuels are burnt by cause and factories. Fossil fuels su sada subjekt. Oni su izgarani od automobila i tvornica. Malo nespretan prijevod, ali mislim da razumijete o čemu se radi. Sad ćemo malo vježbati tvorbu present simple pasiva. Sjetite se ove formule koju smo sada rekli i stavite glagole u zagradama u present simple pasiv. Put the verbs in brackets into present simple passive. Remember that we need present simple of the verb to be and past participle or ed of the main verb. You will have to pause the lesson again and write down these sentences into your notebooks. Let's check the answers. Global warming is not caused by nature. Many trees are cut down for furniture. Greenhouse gases are produced by planes as well. Wood is used to make furniture. Forests are not destroyed by animals. Here are some more present simple passive exercises for you. Please copy and follow these links or copy the QR codes below for more practice. You can pause the lesson now and check the answers. Very well. Here is your last task today. You will write two sentences about each of these environmental problems mentioned in the lesson. Deforestation, ice caps melting and pollution. You will use both active and passive voice. You can use active voice in one sentence and passive in the other. Here are some verbs that might help you. Reuse, recycle, reduce, melt, cut down, destroy, throw away, ban, pollute, preserve, protect, use up. I'm sure you know most of these verbs, but if you don't know some of them, you can always check their meaning in the dictionary. Well done! Now we can go through this checklist to see if you have included all required elements into the task. Please, check if you have written two sentences about each environmental problem. If you have used both active and passive voice, and if you have checked spelling and pronunciation. If not, look at your sentences again and finish the task. 
Here is the self-assessment list. What can you do after today's lesson? Can you name some words related to environmental problems? Can you understand a short text about greenhouse effect? Can you create present simple passive and active sentences? Can you completely successfully do all these activities? You can put a tick into the completely, mostly or not yet column. Remember that you can always go back and repeat all these activities. This is the end of today's lesson. Thank you for watching and goodbye.